Hi everyone, it's Erica from ericasays.com. Today I want to show you how to use this snipping tool in Windows 7. Up until now I have just used a free screenshot program, but since I have Windows 7 now, I can use what came with it and not have to download something additional. So to find it, you'll go to your start menu and accessories, and click on snipping tool and it will open this little box and you'll see I've got crosshairs so it's ready but there's an options box where you can change the outline color um, that you're using maybe you like um, red so you can see what you're doing and um, you can hide the instruction text or leave it up you can always copy the snips to the clipboard it will open it in a little window where you can save it as whatever kind of image you want but let's just say you want it copied to the clipboard so that you can then go over to your graphics program and paste it, that should work too. Um, I don't like to include a URL underneath my snips, it looks kind of sloppy. Um, let's see, prompt to save the snips before exiting because it doesn't automatically save the snip as a file. It will just open it in a window and you'll see then you get to choose what file type to save it as and where to save it. And now this is really nice compared to um, Screen Hunter 5 which I was using because that would just automatically save as a file on my desktop and it would name it something absolutely crazy. So let's get started. Okay, so here we get a new screenshot and you have options here. You can do a free form, which is just like really funny shapes, anything you want. Um, a rectangular, which is what I'm going to do. You can do a window snip, or we'll do everything within your window there. Um, or a full screen snip, which will take the whole screen from top to bottom. So let's start with a rectangular and do a new one. Okay. And let's say I just want to clip right. Oops. Do a new one. I want to clip right here. Okay. And I'm going to have this little image. Alright, and it's going to open it in this box where I can then save as whatever I want. Um, it can do a PNG, a GIF, a JPEG, or um, an HTML. I like PNGs because <laughs> they're pretty easy to use. I'm going to name it Capture Screener since that's the program I'm using. And I'm going to hit Save. But I can also just copy it to the clipboard. And then I should be able to go over to my graphics program where I'm working and just paste it in there. Control V, put a paste. So it's really nice to have that just up and ready to go whenever you are. And the things you can do are email them. You could erase a little bit if you wanted to. You know, maybe I want to take off my name here. Um, of course, my little eraser is not going to work all of a sudden. Okay. Oh well, eraser's not working. <laughs> but you can write on it, you can copy it, you can save it, or you can just say, okay, I want to do a new one now. And maybe that's not what I wanted. Maybe I'd rather just copy the logo out here so I can use it in a post or something. So now I have the logo and I could save the logo as whatever I wanted to. Alright, so that's how you use it. It's free. It comes preloaded on the computer when you get Windows 7. And it's really easy to use. So, happy snipping!